Hi, this is Carl, and welcome to the fourth episode of World of Custom Statues. Just to clarify something, if I don't mention the name of the studio in the video, that is because the commissioner wants to remain anonymous. Some commissioner did say that I can give their FB account if someone wants to inquire. So, not all are the same. And please remember, I have to ask permission before I give them out. So, with that out of the way, let's start. First, from the Alpha 3 Studio, we have their Del Otto Venom prototype reveal. So, this is obviously based on the art of Del Otto. And this is sort of a companion piece to their Del Otto Spider-Man 2. Next, from the Brotherhood of Mutant Studio, their Juggernaut that just went on pre-order just got printed. This one is definitely bigger than the Sideshow Juggernaut. Enjoy the photos. If you are interested, there are still slots available. Next, pre-order for their Wolverine and X-23 diorama will open soon. Here are some older photos of the diorama. Next, Darkseid Studio has finally revealed their Deathstroke that was sculpted by Steven Sanchez. This comes with 5 portraits, a torso switch out, and an amazing 10 weapon switch out. And for the first 25 pre-order, they will receive the torso stand for free. Now you can display them like a quarter scale bust. Next, from a different custom studio, we have this teaser for their upcoming Spider-Man vs Octopus diorama. The Spider-Man will come in two different variants to choose from. Reveal and most likely pre-order will come very soon. Next, from Icebreaker Design Studio, this 36-inch Galactus will soon have a prototype since production will begin next week. I'm very curious how this beast will look. We'll definitely be watching this. Next, from the Imaginary Concept Studio, they have teased us with their upcoming Spider-Man 2099 white variant. Here are some sculpting teasers. I'm not sure if this is going to be a museum pose yet. This is still a very early update. Next, from a different custom studio, they have a teaser for their upcoming Jean Grey with Phoenix. This studio will be focusing mainly on Marvel villains, so be ready to see more villains coming from them. Next, from Namesake Studio, we have some work in progress updates from Sol Yu, who is going to paint their Hawkeye. So here's what the final product should look like. They are also gathering interest for this Herald of Thunder 4 that they are doing. This is a new Thor variant based on the new Thor comics by Danny Cates. This is when Thor was given cosmic power by Galactus. If you are interested, hit me up and I'll guide you to the commissioner. Lastly, from the same studio, their Iron Fist was also printed and molding has also begun. Here are some updates of that. Next, from a new studio called OG, they have revealed their upcoming Iron Man Mark V from the MCU. Currently, this is the only photo available. Next, from Static Studio, their Hellboy on Throne just got casted and it looks very promising. This obviously needs cleaning before it gets painted. Full reveal of the prototype will be soon most likely. Also from Statics, they are also gathering interest for this G.I. Joe Snake Eyes. This will come in two variants, the standard and the stealth version. Hit me up if you're interested with any of the two. Next, from a different custom studio, they will be doing a series of Spider-Man costumes on museum post. Here's a teaser of what costume they will be doing. This is not the actual thing, just an idea of what's coming. Lastly, from Cyan Art Studio, Last week I have posted some photos of their Rogue. Now, they have posted another update on the Rogue, but this time it's the base, which is the Sentinel. I'm really looking forward to this. I really love the concept. So that's it for this week's update. I'm currently eyeing the Cyan Art Rogue. I'm really hoping the paint will go well. Also, that Herald of Thunder Thor, I love its uniqueness, and recently I appreciate statues with very small bases. 
And lastly, I'm also looking forward for that series of Spider-Man costumes. Since I already started my Wolverine series with namesake, might really consider doing Spider-Man too. I'm really hoping somebody will do a series of Iron Man armor soon. Thanks for watching and hope you guys enjoy this week's episode. If you are interested in any of the pieces below, hit me up and I'll do my best to help you. So tell me what you think of the upcoming statues on the comments below. See you again next week for more custom updates. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get updates on World of Custom Statues.